under one of my video, one of my subscribers asked, Hello, I find your video really helpful. Can you please make a video on how to get back links for fresh website and what will be the best strategies regard your subscribers? Well, today's video is actually about backlinks. There are so many factors that Google takes into account, about more than 200, and one of them is backlinks. First of all, hey Ali Nakabi, thank you so much for being a subscriber. If you still haven't subscribed, well, I cover everything from Instagram growth, Facebook, blogging, SEO, e-commerce, dropshipping, affiliate marketing. Why? Because I've tried all of them and I release a video every week. Now, if you've watched some of my videos, you will understand that I provide value for free. For example, I told you how, rank, how to rank number one on Google super fast. A lot of people found the video helpful. I also covered video about the clean SEO strategies, right? How to properly do keyword research for your blog post how to for example use article rewriters or maybe article writers for your blog post now today is about backlinks now let me show you something i want to provide a disclaimer here i rely on organic backlinking but now if, if you look at my post i started this blog on december right on december 16 and i published my first blog post on december 16 as well and now this is May 13, it has 34 incoming links. Some of them are from other blog posts on my website, but a lot of them are from other pages and website on social media. Now I'm going to show you six strategies that you will apply if you, if you don't want to rely on organic backlink. Well, first, what is a backlink? A backlink, it's a site pointing out to another site, okay? It's when the link from one site is embedded in another site in any form. If you truly want to apply the backlink strategy, one of the best ways is called broken linking. So the broken linking is that you basically go on Google. For example, let me sh let me show you an example. I like to speak with example because they speak louder than just words. Suppose you've written a blog post and in that blog post about how to tie a tie, different types of ties. You go on Uber suggest. You find that the word, the keyword, how to tie a tie is basically 450,000. So it has a high search volume per month and it has a, it, it, it has an easy difficulty. So now what you want to do is that you want to go on Google. You want to click on, you want to search the word, how to tie a tie. Now the, these first results, these first results are authority website or our, our website with high quality blog posts. Now you want to make sure that you find, for example, if I open this one, you want to make sure that you find, for example, broken link on this blog post. How do you find broken link? Well, there's a free Chrome extension called check my links. Watch it's used by a hundred thousand people. So you understand that it's really good. Check my link allows you to basically scan any web page on the internet and find broken links. For example, red versus green on anchor text right find broken links and basically tell you what are the broken links so once you find so for example i have installed check my links let me go on this post what you want to do is that you will have check my links somewhere on the top bar of your browser when you click on check my link what it will do is that it will check all the link the valid links versus the invalid links on every single web page and now when you have found an invalid link, for example, in this case, we don't have an invalid link. So they've all made sure that they've, they've incorporated valid links on this blog post. But in case you find, for example, an invalid link, what you want to do is that you want to reach out to the support of this website or maybe to the one of the email that you will find for the website and Basically tell them this is a template that I prepared for you. For example, hi that that dash I hope this finds you well I was searching for some information about how to tie a tie when I found your website and your article on Google Right about different types of tie now. I like the part where you talk about the Kelvin knot for example or how to tie a bow tie however I think you point out to a link that is broken or that does not exist anymore I recently released a new article about the exact topic that can be helpful that can be helpful for your blog or that can fit that part 
would it be possible to replace that broken broken link with mine either way great website you have here stay safe bye this is a great strategy to make sure you don't spam people or you don't necessarily beg for backlinks but you provide value for in exchange of something now well the second and powerful way to get back links is called link roundup so if you go on google and you type link roundup definition uh, what is a link roundup so it's basically weekly and daily or monthly curated list of the best content on a particular topic or theme or industry and so it's a it's a great way to build backlinks because usually the roundup link points out to other posts around the web that fits into a particular topic this is an example of what the roundup post is like so for example this post is about here are my top five uh, favorite marketing pieces from this week so this is the first post and it points out to somewhere it's like a quick summary then this second other post points out to another blog post and provides a quick summary this is also another example of a quick roundup post so for example how not to sell on amazon so this is a quick summary and then it points out this is the this is how it points out to an external blog post same here so what you can do is that you can go on 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 blog post or pages that do roundup posts like this the idea here is that you if you create for example a, a blog post about fashion and you want to get your fashion link or blog post to get in the list of roundup you can basically still find the roundup and then send an email hi i just stumbled upon your amazing article of, and i'm reaching out because i just published an article about that 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 might be a good fit especially for the section about this here is the article it will mean a lot if you can insert it as an anchor text blah 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 whatever that is you want to send as an email so make sure you you don't just bag make sure you think it's a good fit before sending the email another powerful way to use backlink it's is to use a service called link emperor okay they have a seven days free trial for just seven dollars and i'll put the link in the description that you can join and try that and so it's actually a, a link manager service okay so what they do is that they will handle your link building for you and what they, they will find a way to build your link in articles blog comments forum profile forum post press release private blog network public website social bookmark videos wikis like they have so many platform where they can build backlinks for you and it's just seven dollars for seven days then i think the service now if you like the service then it's probably 147 dollars per month as you can see this this is their homepage. they explain everything i'll put the link the affiliate link in the description they explain everything okay this is where they, they're going to build the links for you so you don't have to do the work you just have to post your blog post again what it will do is that it will find the relevant keyword and then you will provide as many keywords as you want i believe and then it will match up with sensible content or relevant content Okay, now it will intelligent build all the link on a regular retaining basis and then keep track of your ranking and repeat as many times as possible to increase the authority of your website. So it's really a solution if you don't have time to manually go on blog posts, on their videos, on the press release, on the forums and build that for you. This is a time saver. So it, it's a 100% automated solution. So if you want to check it out, link down below. So another strategy that I've seen people doing is that they basically go on comment section of blog post of if there is a comment section on blog post of a related blog post then what they basically do is that they link it they, they, they write a long reply and they link it to their blog post or maybe something else now let me show you an example if you go to the website making sense of sense for example and she 
publish an article about day trading. Okay, it's a finance blog, a great blog. She published an article about day trading. Now, if you go to the comment section, you go to the comment section. This guy, for example, they got into an argument here. Is that a friendly advice from a professional investor who is blah, 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 blah. Remove the post from your blog. Why? He's giving the reason why. And then he's saying, here is a post from this that nicely sums up why not to day trade. And he attached the link. So what you can do as well is that you can go if you've, for example, published another article about the disadvantage of day trading and your finance blog. You can come here and write as well something and then tell her, okay, here's an article that I actually released recently about the disadvantage of day trading. So you post, you post your blog post here, and this is a popular and authority website. And so having one of your external, your incoming link from here will help. Now, it's a strategy that I wouldn't really advise because in a lot of website, people will first need to approve your your comments before it gets displayed here like for example on my site if you go on comments then i will need to approve everything that you will write on my site before it actually gets displayed now another strategy another powerful strategy to get back links is basically post all your blog posts on social media okay it's true that Google pay attention mostly to incoming links from authority website, but also having all your income, having also some of your incoming links from social media helps a lot. Okay. And one of the ways to automate all your backlinking from social media is called IFTTT. It's called if this, then that. Now, if you go on if this, then that it's a free platform that you can use to automate a lot of things. You can automate your social media, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, but also you can automate your blog. Okay. So for example, if you go on IFTT and you create an account, you come here on the explore on the explore, you type your WordPress when you, you will, for example, here, this applet allow you to link your WordPress to Twitter. This other applet allow you to link your WordPress to Tumblr your WordPress to Bitly, your WordPress to Weebly. So what you will do is that you will create, you will install all these applets and then connect your blog on your WordPress blog on here. And every time you will publish something, you will post that on all these other accounts, Instapaper, Blogger, OneNote, Twitter, Facebook page. So it's really, really powerful and it automates everything for you. The other way and one of the most powerful way, again, this strategy is really, really, really powerful. This other strategy is basically to import tools on your website. Tools are a great way to make sure you get backlinks. For example, a mortgage calculator, a finance calculator, a horoscope teller, something like that, or a fortune teller. So let me show you an example, a quick example. If you come on my website, themmsexperience.com, you go under entrepreneurship, for example. If you come here, you have a tool. It's called a check domain name availability. So if you click, for example, on the tool, okay, it allows you to basically type your domain name here, for example, call. You check the availability. It tells you it's taken, right? You can try again. You can try for different extension. This is a tool that I got from Bluehost, and every it's a powerful tool. It's a powerful way to get backlinks because people, when they will use the tool, they will basically share it on social media, and also other blog posts might also link to this page. Let me show you a concrete example. If you go, if you know Neil Patel. He has, an, he has a powerful tool on his website called Uber Suggest. If you type here Neil Patel, if you go on his own tool and you type and you type Neil Patel, how many backlinks he has? He has 3 million backlinks and about from 36,000 domains with 211 from powerful domain with .gov or .edu. Now, I'm not sure he went in bag. He created amazing content and also he incorporated 
tools that will be useful to people. So if you go, for example, on the top pages of his website, you come down here, you have Uber suggest as one of the top tools on his website and understand, look at the amount of backlinks that he's getting from the tool. It's 5,000 backlinks, one of the, the highest number of backlinks across all these list of backlinks that he's getting, okay? Now, let me show you another example. If you look at this website, now look at it. It's a fashion and beauty website, but guess what is the most important traffic driver on, on this website? To go on neilpatel.com, l.com on Uber Suggest. You see, it has 16 million organic traffic with 10 million backlinks, 10 million backlinks. And guess what is the number one tool? If you go on top page, guess what is the number one of the biggest traffic driver as well? It's a daily horoscope page. It's not necessarily a tool here, but it's something that will make people come back constantly to check. And li literally they will share it or back or use that maybe, I don't know, on their blog because they want to come back and check their daily horoscope. A great way to have this tool is that basically you go on Google, suppose you're a finance blog, okay, you want to go, for example, first, you want to go on your plugins, plugins, add new, okay, you're a finance blog, you want to incorporate stuff about finance. Let's say, for example, I want to incorporate it in mortgage calculator if you type here mortgage calculator for example it's a great way to have backlinks because a lot of people are always looking to calculate their mortgage you have a lot of mortgage calculator you type for example for this mortgage on this mortgage calculator what it tells you is that this is how it looks like screenshot it allows you to calculate a mortgage and determine the mortgage payment it's a great tool because a lot of people will be always using this kind of tool and they will come back and link to your website okay so what you can do on the phone this is how it looks like so you can basically install now and put that at the top of the of your pages like this you come for example on personal finance and you type your mortgage calculator or free debt calculator something like that okay this is a powerful way to get back link because when someone will click on free debt calculator they will link that back to this website Now, what strategy do I use to get incoming links or backlinks? You have to write long form quality informative content that people will find so good that they will, they will share that and they will link that as well back to your site. Okay, if you go for example on Uber Suggest and you type for example, neilpatel.com look at all his top pages if i go for example for digital marketing it's a long blog post about digital marketing look at it here he is putting a sticky social media share bar here so people can easily share it if they want to share it and that's a great way to get backlinks but it's a long form blog post very spaced about the topic that people will find it so good and so useful that at the end of the day they will be like man i have to link back to this website somehow on my blog post because it's good i want to provide value to people look it's really really long and that's what i like about him he write long form blog posts this is for example made more like five thousand words or maybe close to ten thousand so he really puts effort in writing his blog post to make sure it's really long so that it ranks number one on Google. Let's go on Google, for example, and type digital marketing. Digital marketing, if these are ads, 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 ads. Now, Neil Patel is number three of, of, for the keyword digital marketing. Why? Because he wrote such a good piece of content, really long form, so that when people came and read it, they will definitely back link to it. So my advice for you is to get, to make sure you work on the quality of your blog post, well organized with H2 title, with external linking, with internal linking, copy the structure of what works and then you will get back links. I published the blog post about men's hairstyle, right? The best hairstyles for men. 
and I had a fashion blog. I told you already I have many websites and I have a fashion blog. So one person sent me this email on May 2nd. He basically said, hello, gentlemen, this is Iqbal Kashi, founder of Gentleman Things, a, fa a men's fashion blog and lifestyle blog. I just gone through your website and read the post on best hairstyles for men. It was quite interesting, blah, blah, blah. I just created a quite great image related to this post so he's sending me something that's related to my post to my blog post that has about 30,000 viewers per month and basically he's asking me to attach the image at the end of the article he, he's saying what's the value it will provide to my blog post well this image will provide you with the best user res retention as this is quite a unique image with some tips for readers too. So what he did is that he attached the image at the end. So what I'll do is that I will just download the image and go attach it and link it to the, this link that he sent me. This is a great strategy because you're providing value to the blog post, but also you're asking kindly to sort of link to what you have. Again, like I, like I showed you, I, I started this blog post about five months ago and now he has now about 2,000 page views per month. When we get to 10,000, I will monetize it with Ezoic because Ezoic is a great platform that really, really improve your earnings from your blog, which I will put the link in the description. Check it out, ezoic.com if you have more than 10,000 page views per month. But if, as you can see, I have like a 146% increase in my page views, 133% increase in the number of sessions. Okay, so my traffic is really increasing because I know what I apply. I don't, I have not spent a single second going on other blog posts and basically pasting my link. I have worked on the quality of my blog to make to my of my blog post to make sure they're long form content and then I know that Google will push it on the first page or maybe the second page the third page and when people will read it it will be good enough for them to share it or link back to it so that's my advice for you if you think this was helpful there are so many videos on my channel Okay, if you check out my channel and you click on playlist blogging and SEO, you click on blogging and SEO, there will be so many, there will be so many videos about blogging and SEO that you will be able to already learn from. Okay, check out those videos, watch those videos, learn from them, apply them. I'm making sure that I provide you with the real value, something that can help you. Okay, so make sure you smash the like button, you subscribe, and until next time, Take good care of yourself. Peace.